Hey guys, what is up? In this video today, I will be showing you guys a exotic Ingram, Prime Ingram farm in Destiny 2 Season of the Chosen. Now, before we get into the video, if you are new around here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys do, it greatly supports the channel. We also do have a community Discord server for those who are interested. We have over 100 active members, we do giveaways in the server, and all that other fun stuff. With all that said though, let's get right into the video. So, if you're here to learn how to farm some exotics, you're definitely in the right spot. I'll be showing you guys how to get some exotics. Some of these I've gotten from random drops, quests, or, you know, just RNG. So, uh, yeah, what I'll be using, nothing really crazy. I would suggest a sword. I'm using Black Talon. Uh, anything really works for this farm, honestly. I'm going to use Harry Parent as, you know, Guardian Games. Got to use the new weapons. But, uh, yeah, I'm just using Fell Winter, True Prophecy. This is my PvP loadout. You don't need any crazy DPS for this farm method. So, once you do this, go to the moon. Now, once you guys go to the moon, all you want to do is just load into the sanctuary. Now, once you load into the sanctuary, before you do anything, there are two major buffs I would advise popping. Don't forget these buffs as they're really, really good. Number one, pure matter grass uh, lens. So, precision kills have a chance to drop weapon telem injuries. This isn't crazy, but you definitely want to pop it. And then the next one, Rainmaker. A glimmer extractor found in the scraps of a lucky dismantle. Effects last for 4 hours. Precision kills have a chance to create a shower of glimmer. You want to pop that one. Now when you pop this little buff right here, uh, it has a chance to generate glimmer for you. And the last one is the finest matter weave. Defeating bosses have a chance of dropping a enhancement core. Effects last until an enhancement core is found. Only one finest matter weave can be activated at one time. So uh, this allows you pretty much to farm mad enhancement cores. So uh, yeah. I popped all these buffs and I'm ready to go. So once you spawn in, just follow exactly where I go. You'll follow this little path right here when you fly into the sanctuary. There's going to be a road. You just want to follow it. Not too complicated. Um, once you do this, just take a right turn. You'll have a checkpoint. The archer's line. Now once you do this, you are in the right location. So just follow the path. Now uh, once you come here... Over here, you should see some ads. Don't worry about those, but uh, you will have a checkpoint pop up on your screen when you pass the right turn right here. I'm almost there. So, uh, as you can see, I have the checkpoint around right here. The Hellmouth just popped up on my screen. Now, once you do this, you want to take a immediately right turn or you'll go the wrong way. Don't worry about anything else besides this path that I show you. There'll be public events and all that other stuff. It doesn't really matter. And then once you come here, take a right turn. Then you will end up in this area right here. Take a right turn, you'll see this pop up. The Anchor of Light. Now once you do this, just follow this left turn. Now this is where the farm is going to start. Now, you guys like when I make these videos every week showing you guys where you can farm your exotics at, so I'll be showing you guys. Today, this is going to be your farm location when you come here. So, all you want to do is confront the nightmare. Now, once you do this, get ready to shoot him. Let him spawn in, and then just... There you go. Hair Parent is really good for this, as you don't take much damage from his shield right there. So, he's going to run out. There we go. Lamented also works great for this. He's dead. I didn't get anything at that time. I'm going to open the chest. As you can see, I got a blue first try. So if you guys are looking to reset this little exotic farm, all you got to do is sit here for about three minutes or just go back to the sanctuary and let it spawn back in. Like always, though, if you guys found this video helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.